Welcome to Intercraft channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the scanning offset and overscanning. If your machine has passed the test of the first tutorial, then you are ready to check the scanning offset. It was a surprise for me as well to see that the lines of the field square were not aligned, though before the maintenance of my laser engraver, the lines were aligned because I have used the scanning offset settings. My conclusion is when you do a maintenance and readjusting the, the belt tension and the centric knots, you need to test and check the scanning offset again. Here the problem is non-aligned field lines and the solution is to find the right values for a scanning offset. I opened the same test file from before. You can use the below link to download it. The line objects are not our focus, but the filler squares are. So I disable the output and show. And let us focus on the horizontal line pattern and disable the vertical filler square. Scanning offset shows its importance when the engraving of a geometry is set to fill and bidirectional scan is selected as well. Yes, you are right, these are the features on Lightburn, but you may find similar features, maybe with different name or definition in other uh, laser software as well. Scanning offset is found under device settings. Enable this feature and do not forget to add the first entry as speed 0 and offset 0 and leave the initial offset 0 as the default value is. Since our test speed was a thousand, an entry of thousand and zero is added to the list as well. I changed the size of the test square to five times five millimeter, made uh, four copies, hoping that before four trials I will be able to find the right offset value for thousand millimeter per minute. I only keep the first one enabled and disabled the rest three. As you can see, I had to increase the power 1% each time to get a visible engraving for later evaluation. What we can see here is that the, the lines are not aligned and the edges of our square doesn't look straight. For each scanning right and left, maybe there is a shift of around 200 micrometer. Now I have the right power for the next trials, so I'll update layers 3, 4 and 5 to 10%. Next I will enable and keep layer 3 for the next trial and disable layer 1, 4 and 5. For the second trial I'll go back and set the scanning offset for 1000 mm per second to minus 0.2 mm. Let us see if we can shift the lines 200 micrometer to the left. So, saved the g-code and ran the file again. Now I look at the second trial. Wow, it seems that the negative offset has shifted the first line further to the left and it has made our issue bigger. What I do next is to enable the third trial. Do not forget to disable the second one. Remove the negative sign and set the scanning offset to 0.2 millimeter and try engraving the third one. The third trial shows we have succeeded moving the shifts to the opposite direction, but 200 micrometer seems to be a little bit overestimated. What I'll do for the next trial is to adjust the scanning offset a little bit, so I will enter 150 micrometer this time. Let's see how this trial looks like. Wow, good! It seems we have anchored it correctly. For comparison, just check the first trial again. Now you can see the edges of our square are straight. You may assume maybe 140, 135 micrometer we put the lines in perfect match. I ran similar tests for a few different speeds from 1000 to 6000 millimeter per minute which covers the operating speed range of my laser for photo engraving. We will figure out the speed range in another video 
were investigating the required time for the laser pulse to mark the material. The scanning offset values were found to align all the scan lines in the field squares. As you may notice, the offset values were found similar for the speeds beyond the point. This limit is imposed by X and Y acceleration of the firmware, which defines acceleration and deceleration time of the laser head along each scan line. What I did next was to make the scan area wider to get a better overview of the engraved lines. What I focus here is the both ends of the lines. As you can see, lines do not start and finish sharply. It is due to the acceleration and deceleration of the laser head where the laser controller tries to ramp the power up or down accordingly. This is how the scan lines are made. It starts exactly where the engraving lines start and end where it ends. So the laser needs to power up or down exactly on the engraving line. Next I'm going to test the overscanning, which is the option to move the laser head for each line to exceed the actual length of the engraving line. The value of overscanning is entered as percentage, which is calculated as an extra movement of the laser head in percent of one second. 3000 mm per minute equal to 50 mm per second. 5% overscanning gives 2.5 mm. I change all the layers to 5% overscan and run the file again. What I can see first is the lines are not aligned anymore, but secondly, and most importantly, I can see the lines both ends are much similar and uh, have the same engraving and strengths as the rest of the line, which is what I wanted to achieve. Next is to investigate how to put those lines back to alignment. Finally, I figure out if I turn off the scanning offset, the lines are aligned by default. In this case, where specifically the overscanning value was set. I've used 5% as an overscanning value, though Lightburn recommend 2.5%. Let us try with 2.5 and see what we get. If I compare the results of 2.5% and 5% overscanning, I would say I'm more satisfied with 5% with more consistent engraving intensity on both ends of the lines, then I would give 5% for this type of material. Yes, you have sharp eyes and noticed another issue on these engravings. The gap between the lines is not consistent and we can see wider and thinner gaps. In another video, I will investigate the effect of choosing different line intervals to find a solution to prevent any artifacts on the engraving's outcome. As a summary, scanning offsets should be checked after each service and readjusting the belts and eccentric knots. It has high importance in case uh, overscanning is disabled and it should be checked in case of non-zero overscanning values and also change to another type of material. Thanks for watching and see you another time.